Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you another common data structure in Python, the list. Lists are basically like tuples, but with some extra capabilities. I'd like to start by bringing this slide back from the strings module. It illustrates immutability, or the inability to change something at a particular index in a string. Swapping out the entire string is fine, but manipulating an individual character is not. Remember that tuples are immutable as well, so the same principle applies. Immutability can be nice when we have data and we never want it to change over the course of its lifetime. But let's say we do want it to change. Take, for example, the situation from a previous module where we want to replace a single letter with another letter. This seemingly simple operation requires quite a bit of gymnastics. We can't modify my string, so we have to make a bunch of smaller strings out of it and paste them back together using the plus operator. You can probably imagine that having something less rigid in Python would be useful. Turns out there are also mutable things. This lesson covers one of them, and it's called Yay! a list. A list is a heterogeneous, mutable data type that stores an ordered sequence of things. As you can see from the description, a list is basically the same as a tuple, only mutable. It caused an error because of the immutability with tuples. Let's see what this program looks like when we use a list instead. And here it is. There are a couple of differences in this program that I want to point out. First, we rename the variable from my tuple to my list. Second, when we declare the list, we use square brackets instead of parentheses. The rest of the program is basically the same. Now, we can actually modify elements within the list. When we change the zeroth thing in the list to 10, we can see that change in the result of the last print statement. Okay, let's return to the problem where we want to replace a single character in a string. We can actually create a list version of the string using the list function. Now, what we have in str as list is a list of strings, each of which is a single character. Using the list function with a string as an argument creates a list whose contents are each character of the original string in the order in which they appear. Now, we can change individual characters in the list in a way that was not allowed with the original string. We can just set the value at a particular index using an assignment statement. And check it out, the list is different as a result of those changes. Okay, this is great. We can sort of approximate changing a string even though strings are immutable. But at the end of this, we're still left with a list. How do we make my string contain the characters from the list? We have to swap out my string, and we have to replace it with a string returned by double quote double quote dot join stir as list. This looks really weird and unfamiliar. Let's take a closer look at it. So join is a method. It's a string method, much like the ones I showed you in the strings module. In this particular case, we are calling it on a string literal, which happens to be the empty string. Even though the empty string doesn't have any characters in it, you can still call methods on it. As an argument, we are passing a list. As a rule with join, this list must contain strings. What this method does is it takes all the strings in the argument and concatenates them together with a copy of the string the method was called on in between each pair. Okay, that was a bunch of words. Here's the general idea. The elements in the list are bricks, and the string that join was called on is the mortar. So all the strings in str as list are bricks, and the empty string is going to be the mortar that goes between them. Join then glues all the bricks together with the mortar in between each pair of bricks. The result is just one big string. Now in theory, we could use something other than the empty string as the glue, but in this case that would be kind of silly. So that's how to turn a list of strings into a string. Let's go back to turning a string into a list for a second. We just saw how to do that using the list function. There's another slightly different way to turn a string into a list. Check this out. You can use the method called split on a string. What it does is it creates a list and basically fills it with each word in the string. More formally, it makes a copy of the string, splits it into smaller strings based on where it finds white space, puts those smaller strings in a list, and returns the list. Notice that when we do this, the original string remains unchanged.